I guess you could say uh, I, I think I mentioned in videos before I, I live in Calgary Alberta Canada so as far as like weather it's pretty much snow year-round so when I get chances to make car videos I'm gonna try and do it but like I said it's tough like you can see maybe it's April right now end of April just about and there's still snow so kind of gives you an idea of what we're dealing with so since the weather is getting nicer I decided to, maybe you saw at the beginning of the video there, come pull out the Mustang, see if it starts up. Also, we bought some uh, LED taillights and headlights for this car. Because the stock ones, like a 1965, you might as well be holding a candle as you drive down the street. These are dim lights. So we are going to switch to uh, LED. The Mustang was also already having some taillight issues. For some reason, the taillights would work when the car was off. But if the car was on, they just didn't work. So I came over to the garage here now, and uh, we're going to try and swap them out. It's supposed to be just a direct swap, so that should be easy, and hopefully that fixes the problem. I kind of know what the problem is, did a bit of research and messed around with the wiring a bit, but once I saw these, I think I got the whole kit for like four or 500 bucks, um, all four corners. It was like, that'll, it's worth the money just to do it that way. So anyway, let's dive into that today. First thing I'm going to do is uh, try and plug this car the battery back in I guess and see if it even starts it probably needs some fresh gas and definitely an oil change in the next week or so let's get going and do that okay so a couple bolts later and we got the whole old taillight bezel out with everything, it's like a foam block in here that kind of sits over top of the taillights. So we took this out. So these are what I'm guessing are the originals. Like I'm, they came with my car, but I'm assuming these are the 1967 taillights. And they're kind of just cracked and they're like sun dried and they're pretty beat. So not much um, you can do with them. I mean, you can put new brighter bulbs in, but it's just not going to look as good. So basically, like I said, this is just a plug and play version. So this just plugs into the old harness and this is the new system here. Oh, this one has a rubber gasket. So one has a rubber gasket and one doesn't oh, great. Or is it stuck to the back? Oh, there we go. Nice. Should I wash, wash. this too? So it's what six more bolts and or screws inside of the casing that hold the lens to the bezel and then you screw the bezel itself to the back of the vehicle so it's just six bolts all the way around It's off, yeah. Sweet, works. Ready? Yeah, let's see it. Ooh. It's hard to tell in the day, but they look way better. so that was just a quick like little video it's not really a tutorial or anything if you need to figure out how to do it it's pretty much six bolts six nuts at your uh, taillight bezel and then uh, you take off the foam and you kind of just take out the actual plastic you replace it with this whole closed unit just plug it into your regular taillights where your bulbs would plug in 
and that's it and you're done and you can see like i didn't show before i don't think i have any footage of it but the mustang taillights were so old and chewed out and chipped and sun i don't know whatever you want to call it but they just didn't do anything so these new led ones are going to look so much better and you're going to actually be able to see if i stop and i'm not going to get rear-ended so uh that's the car i'm probably going to take it out this week um and then we're going to take out the 240 this week and i'm going to try and get that maybe uh tuned up and uh show you a few new pieces i got for that car so that'll be in the next couple days here we'll do that and get that video out so if you haven't already like and subscribe i'm just going to try and grow like a little bit of a channel here and maybe just do some car videos and builds and stuff so uh follow if you're into that kind of shit. All right, cool. Take it easy.